What is up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, back again opening a Marvel Legends set of the new um, action figures. Um, I don't know how new these are, I think they're a little bit older by now, but this is like the Netflix series set type thing, so it's all based around like the Daredevil, um, Punisher, Jessica Jones type thing. So of course out of this set, as I already started, so the main person is probably the Daredevil. And as I said, this is um, mostly all based off of the Netflix series, so we have the Netflix Daredevil. And then there's also Punisher, which is from the second season of Daredevil. And then we got Katana, which was also in the second season. And then we get Jessica Jones up here. I know it's hard to see because I don't have room to fit everything in. But we have Jessica Jones up here, which is the Netflix series one. And then we get a Blade, which is based off his more modern uh, character. And then there's something kind of interesting that comes up with that we'll look at when we open it. And then we get have Bullseye over here, which is the comic version. Um, and so all of this comes in a set, and they all have the build figure of Man Thing, which is down here, which I don't think you can see is his head, but you can see like his body and arms and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and open all of the boxes, and then we'll come back and um, go through each set together, and of course, and um, at the very end we'll build put Man Thing all together in the build a figure and so I'm gonna go ahead and get all these all the all the boxes and we'll bring it right back okay so we're back now so we're first gonna start up with Daredevil here so of course as I said this is the um, Daredevil from the Netflix series so he's here in his actual Daredevil outfit and so it's like all, all the red and I think this outfit or costume whatever looks really cool so on his head there he does have the devil points and you can see his um, face up close there and then just all the detail there on his costume. He does come with his um, two stick things. I forget what they're called. But there he uses them as his walker as well. But you can put them together. And uh, he can walk with the, You know use them to walk with or whatever. But you can take it apart. And um, he uses them to fight. Kind of like baton things. And then you can also like stick them. Uh, I don't know exactly how they go in here. But down in the side of his. Um, he has like a. Um. Uh, sheath or holster type thing for him. I can't really get him kind of in there like that that he can hold on to him with uh, But I think it just re looks really cool. And of course, these are all always um, super like posable and everything um, So they can move around a lot and everything. Um, he does also come with uh, two fists so like um, His hands are in a fist so obviously if you don't want him to hold the batons You can put these fists in so it can be like he's fighting and then he comes with the head of man thing um, so our first piece of man thing here and there's what his head looks like it looks really weird um so we'll set that aside to save for later and that was daredevil and next up here we have punisher so of course this is the jo um, john bernthal punisher again from the netflix series of daredevil and so he has his um like kind of classic like character outfits of a black trench coat usually it's i think longer but this one's a shorter he has the painted like skull face there on his um what i assume to be vest and stuff i don't know if you can see but it's got like different pockets and um stuff all around it kind of like a um, bulletproof vest and then he does come with this gun um that you can put in this hand and then this bigger um automatic rifle in the other hand but he doesn't have any um holsters for it or anything which i was kind of disappointed in i thought somewhere like on his sides or something he would have a holster to put the guns in um but it's just kind of uh him all by himself um and so just to read a little thing on us um so of course his real name is frank castle and it says frank castle is on a quest for revenge waging a merciless war against the criminals of hell's kitchen so that's just the little information they give on the box um, so there's not much more to him. Like I said, it is the John Bernthal. So if you um, can see, he does kind of look like him there. Uh, but there's that, and then he comes with the right or left arm of Man Thing. So then we got the left um, hand. So it's really big. So you can kind of see the size that Man Thing's gonna be. But that was Punisher. And next up here we have Katana. So of course again Katana from the Daredevil series. And so here we have her and she's in like a mostly all black outfit. She has the red um, like scarf thing that she pulls up around her face to like hide it. Um, as, as she did the show a lot there so you can see that. And then she does come with two um, size here. Um, so she can you know obviously hold this one just like a normal um, size. And then this one's her hands all weird. I don't know if you can see the shape that it's in. But it does it so she can you know hold it this way you know to use like the staff. <laughs> 
Um, but her arms go in weird directions, though. Um, but she has that, and then she does also come with just a normal face. Um, so you can replace it if you don't want the um, red covering on her. You can just have her normal head there. And then so for uh, Electra here, it says both a um, wealthy Harris and a trained assassin. Electra um, Nesinos is a mysterious woman from Matt Murdock's past who unexpectedly returns to his life. And so, again, an old lover that went off and was trained with all the um, arts or whatever, her skills that she has, and then is now back in Hell's Kitchen. Um, so there is Electra, and she comes with the left leg of Man-Thing. So, again, you can see the size almost over half her body. Um, so he's going to be humongous. So that was Electra. And next up is Jessica Jones here. So, again, based off her Netflix series show of Jessica Jones, and so she's just very kind of plain and basic. So we have Jessica Jones, which again I have no clue who the actors are in the in these shows, um, but she's got her um, leather like jacket. I would say almost like a motorcycle jacket thing, but just like a um, you know in fashion jacket. She's got gloves on her hands, which all she has comes with her fist. So of course she has um, like strength powers, I think. So she's you know really strong, and so she just punches a lot throughout the shows and everything. Then she's got jeans and then some like nice shoes or whatever you want to say there. But she doesn't come with anything. She doesn't have any weapons. Um, like in the show, she doesn't use anything. So she's just very plain. Um, and just so you can see the face there on her. You can see what she looks like. Very similar. They get the looks from the characters on the um, Netflix shows. Very close to their act, like the way they look. I think it's pretty cool. Um, but she does come with the main like chest, upper body, whatever you want to call it. Um, torso of man of uh, man thing and so you can again see just how big he's gonna be once we get him together it's gonna be so cool but it's weird he's so he's like obviously hard but he has this coating and it's kind of like a rubber so it's like all bin and like kind of like soft and squishy so it's kind of weird but cool at the same time to make it but yeah he's just like a big tree thing so we'll set that aside to build him and so um, Je Jessica Jones here says when a mind controlling psychopath named Kilgrave resurfaces in New York City Jessica Jones must use her gifts as a private eye to track him down before he can cause more damage so that is all we got for Jessica Jones and next up here we have Blade which I think is awesome Blade was always a favorite um, not favorite but a character I liked and especially after the Blade movies and stuff um, so this is more, based, as I said, based on his comic version, like the way he looks, like with the somewhat bald head, he does have some hair, which you'll see close. The red sunglasses, so he can, you know, be out during the day a lot and everything. Um, but with this, he does come with the, the um, like, katana that you can see here, so the sword that he's holding. Um, he does have a, um, like, I think they call them like bandoliers or just like a thing around his chest here. Um, but it does have a bunch of stakes in it, obviously, for killing vampires. And it does have a sheath for the katana so you can just like pull off and stick it back in there like that for him to carry. And then he does also has a um, uh, bandolier type thing down on his leg as well with some spikes in it. Probably some uh, maybe arrows or bullets, I don't know, some silver bullets, not sure. Um, but this of course his blade so there's the way he looks you can see his bald, balding head there and he just looks super cool I love the way this looks um, so that looks awesome he does also come with this head which to me looks a lot more like Wesley Snipes so you get like that version of blade but it could just be some other random looking version um, of blade because I think there's possibly been multiple blades or at least different versions of him um, so they're not all the same so that's probably could just be one but I think it looks like Wesley Snipes from the movies and then he comes with the left or right leg. I'll never get him right. Um, right leg of Man Thing. And just so a little bit of information on Blade it says Eric Brooks adopted the name Blade and uses mystery. Um, sorry, the uses mastery of martial arts to fight and defeat supernatural and often blood sucking opponents. Obviously, he's a vampire hunter. Um, so that's why he says that. Um, but that's really cool. So we got Man Thing over there. And so that is Blade. And our last character for this set is Bullseye here. Um, so this Bullseye um, does look more like his classic comic version. Um, so in the blue and white outfit here. So he has the Bullseye on his head here as you can see. Which is very similar. Uh, or not very similar. But it's still carried over into like when it was in the Daredevil movie in the early 2000s. Um, he did have this kind of symbol on his head. 
Uh, but he's just, like I said, in his classic bluish gray and white outfit with like the bands on it. Um, in his hands here, you can see he does have um, some throwing darts, and so it's got clear thing like he's, you know, just like throwing like type thing. And then he does come with his gun as well, which can go into the holster over here. And then he has, you know, another like thing of um, a belt attached, and it does have a knife, so you can also have um, a knife to use for him to like put to put in his hands and stuff and so there's not much beyond that to him mostly his face and speaking of face he does also come with a faceless or a maskless head and so there you can see the um bullseye design there kind of like um i forget what the guy's name was um colin farrell or whatever i think that played bullseye in the um, live or the movie from the 2000s but he's got this really weird face like his eyes are crazy his mouth is open I think it looks really weird but you can obviously put that head on it and then he does come with um, some other hands so he has a hand probably I I would think to be able to hold the knife is what this one's for it just got a hold there and then he's got like this pointing hand so kind of like you know doing hand or gun hand thing so he has that as well that you can switch out for this knife hand if you don't want that on there and then he also does come with the right arm of man thing. And then just to read a little bit on him, it says, Motivated by a personal vendetta against Daredevil, Bullseye becomes an expert assassin, demonstrating an exceptional ability to use nearly any object as a lethal weapon. And so that's just kind of um, the information they provide on Bullseye. So he's kind of a bland, he's a villain to Daredevil. And he's, I don't think, really that cool, but they, he's like one of the most popular um, villains of Daredevil uh, but that's going to be it for Bullseye and so of course we have Man-Thing to put over there so pull that and then we have all of the pieces of course here now to build uh, Man-Thing so I'll go ahead and build him off camera and I'll bring it right back and so here we have Man-Thing now and so he's just a big giant beast obviously he's kind of hard to fit in the camera view here but so he's um, kind of like DC Swamp Thing, which I know a little bit more about Swamp Thing, but I believe Man Thing's like the guardian of the living or something. He's kind of like a Mother Nature type thing. Um, so he's like a protector of Earth and, like I said, plants. I think humans and stuff too. But he just got to, I love the way his face looks. So he has uh, obviously two red eyes, and then he has these like tree, um, I would say like roots or just some sort of like bark or uh, wood material, I think is what it is like growing off of his head and of course they come down kind of making like a beard and then he also has like a beard type thing down under him as well uh, but then he's just this big hulking giant thing made of like grass and moss and s looks like he's from a swamp and stuff he has these big giant claws as you can see there and of course toes to match some big pointy toenails there and he just looks um, I love the way he looks it's really cool um, and he's just a big giant beast and so just for a size comparison here is Daredevil so there their feet are about on the same so you can see the like size difference in the two figures but that's why I like the whole build of figure sets because you get all these figures you know of characters you want but then they build something ginormous and awesome that you possibly wouldn't normally get and so that's what I think is cool about this whole set although I don't know why uh, man thing kind of fits into um, this whole set because he's not in any of the shows or part of Daredevil or anything um, but that's going to be it for this opening of the Marvel Le Legends, uh, I guess I'll call it Netflix series or Daredevil set. Of course, feature with the main feature here being uh, the Daredevil from Netflix. Um, but that's going to be it for this Marvel Legends opening. So if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down below. Let me know what your favorite character out of the set was. And hit the red subscribe button to see more. And we'll see you next time.